Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. So we're looking at a serve today. It's the ad side down the tee serve, okay? And I think what I see a lot of players get tempted into doing is hitting this thing extremely flat. And my suggestion to you guys is hitting a little more of a, you know, kind of a hybrid hard slice. Uh, I think a couple things that that does. One, it's going to move the ball a little bit away from your opponent off the bounce, where the flat serve is going to take a little more of a direct bounce through the court, gives your opponent just a little bit of a better chance to get the ball back. Um, so start to visualize that that, that that add serve down the tee is going to move a little bit from right to left for all you right-handed players, okay? A uh, couple things we want to look at on how to execute this well, really understand how to get this ball to that spot consistently. The first being, after I get to my trophy pose, which I will mention this every single time we talk about you know, moving the ball to different targets, do not mess around with your trophy pose. Nothing in the backswing here needs to change. If you guys have a nice setup where that right elbow gets bent and drops a little and that left arm goes high, do not mess with this. From this position, the toss, in order to have a good, you know, little bit of movement down the middle of the court, we want that toss definitely out to about one o'clock, okay? Because that gives us a, a better chance to get the strings a little bit more to the right side of the tennis ball. For all you players that have been hitting, you know, you're down the tee serve on a 12 o'clock toss, you know, that's that ultra flat ball, which, you know, it's not a mistake. I know you guys can hit that really hard, but again, I just think there's a huge bonus in, in getting that ball to move away from your opponent. So let's start to really work the toss on this serve to about one o'clock, which means my racket path to the ball is kind of just that standard, um, you know, clearance move where I'm just getting the shoulders to unleash and I'm trying to really work, you know, just a little bit off the right side of my body. At contact, like we said, this isn't a super spinny serve, so I don't need to really carve hard on the outside of the ball, but I want to feel the strings gradually getting to the right side of the ball, not coming directly on the back side of it, okay? So without further ado, let's take a look at a couple serves on the ad side that go down the tee. Here we go. You guys can see how that thing tailed off to the left at the end. So that's just a really nice, uh, nice result on that serve to see that ball once it lands, making the opponent move that extra step or two where they start to really have to reach at that return of serve. Okay, so practice makes perfect. Go out, you know, really try to think about those three key components to get that serve going. If you guys are struggling with that serve, I always suggest a little progression. Try a couple from the service line. If you're having success there, make your way back a little bit. Try a couple from no man's land. And I think getting that nice visual of seeing the ball get to your target consistently will really make it easy to then start to execute those from the baseline really well. All right, so that's all I got for you guys today. Please click like below this video. And if you happen to be watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks and we'll see you soon.